Typically, under a Republican administration, we would expect regulatory and antitrust pressures to ease. However, given President-elect Trump's history and public dislike for many large technology companies, we believe it's possible that the antitrust scrutiny on big tech could continue. At the same time, it's possible that the FCC and DOJ chairs could change and could become more receptive to settling some of these cases in ways that are not material financially to the companies. The new chairs could also be more receptive to M&A, leading to more mergers in the technology sector. However, foreign regulatory approvals could still be difficult to achieve. On the regulatory front, Trump could take more of a hands-off approach to topics such as AI and privacy. This would give more flexibility to companies, although individual states may still pursue regulations in these areas. The relationship between US and China is extremely important to consider as the supply chain for semiconductors and tech devices is very dependent on trade between the US, China, and Taiwan. Under the Biden administration, we've already seen a series of export restrictions, which have had a limited impact financially on the sector so far. It's possible that Trump could escalate the situation further and impose additional restrictions. Given that many semiconductor companies derive a material portion of revenue in China, this poses a financial risk to the sector. We also believe Trump could increase tariffs on semiconductors and other tech imports push forward American-made products. This could pressure margins for many companies in the sector. At the same time, the few companies that are focused on US-based semi-manufacturing could benefit from some of these potential changes. One of the most serious disruptions to the sector could come from any changes in the ability to trade with Taiwan, which currently manufactures most of the world's advanced semiconductors.